It took a month to be sure but I 21M saw the pictures. When you've known someone this intimately for two years, love them dearly, the slightest changes in their behavior are instantly noticeable. It started almost a month ago right after her birthday, I was going to give her a promise ring. She wouldn't look me in the eye, give me a hug or anything. Said she was tired physically and all. All was good. A week later, communication dropped to a new low. She said she needed some space to feel like an individual again, sounds good to me. Two weeks later, she is hiding her close friend's story from me what she posted were pictures with a mutual friend, found out later when others told me, said she removed me by mistake. Another week goes by, she is sweet talking to him and vice versa. Confront her about it says it's just an inside joke. At that point I was 80% sure, last week, we are out shopping and I see the pictures on her phone, the texts, lo and behold, she indeed was cheating after she blamed my suspicions on anxiety and overthinking. I haven't had much sleep since, if any at all, have lost a lot of weight. On the good days I just want to get some answers from her, close this chapter and move on. On the worst days, I'm at the hospital treated for panic attacks trying to forgive her but then my heart physically burns at the thought of him being with her now. I needed to vent so apologize for the long post, any advice is welcome. Update, been a couple of weeks. How it's like so far, you're taking it day by day, you're back to exercising, being productive you're seeing the therapist, your friends have never been more supportive but facts of the matter, you're still suffering from the following. When you pause what you're doing every few hours wondering if she is with him right now. Two your hormones kick in but you can't even masturbate because the thought of her stresses you out. Three the music you use to like feels like audible tea urcher when it plays on shuffle. Four panic attacks. Oh the panic attacks. Five you find ways to forgive them in your head but as you go back and forth, you are even angrier now because you realize the ducking disrespect. Six if you saw pictures or caught them in the act. It hits like you a truck when you least expect and suddenly your day is ruined. 7. You're approached by someone romantically but you can't get yourself to take the next step because of how afraid you are that history would repeat itself. Update, final talk was today. We are heading on our separate ways but, today was a day I hoped would never come. Never in my two-year relationship with my ex did I think I'll end with her cheating either. It's been 4 weeks since I found out and we agreed to sit down one last time to give her her things and to get mine. Got my closure and this was quite possibly the toughest, hardest thing I've ever had to do, even though I'm in the right here. Saying goodbye is never easy, watching her cry was heartbreaking but I stuck by what I think would be best and that is to go on our separate ways. She ducked up yes and I think she knows how bad of a duck up it was on every level. But think I learned something about myself today as well. I don't have the capacity to hate, infuriated yes, to hate someone just tortures you from the inside. Yes, it's still a tough road to recovery, the trust issues will be a problem, the PTSD is real but time heals and it's in those situations we show what we are made of. I guess the point I'm trying to state in this update is that, as much as it hurts, I realized who I am as a person and that I'm stronger than I thought both in letting my brain do the talking and not letting my heart slip down a path of toxicity and hatred. I found my peace, I wish you all to find yours. Update, tips on overcoming PID, PID post-infidelity stress disorder. So far, progress has been made. Slowly I'm coming to grasp with this new reality and processing my emotions one day at a time. But it's the lingering PID that's been causing me the worst trouble, even things that I didn't think would directly trigger it end up doing so. The reason I'm worried about it is because 710 it happens, it's usually a descent into a panic attack, insomnia and overall physical and mental damage. So I'm reaching out to ask, how did you overcome it and if not what are some things I can do to reduce its impact? Disclaimer, yes I try to keep myself busy all the time, yes I'm seeing a therapist and I take meds for the anxiety but they are taken preemptively before I go into a situation that causes it. Update, how do you deal with the PID post-infidelity stress disorder? To be more specific, how do you not let it affect your future romantic endeavors, etc. Ever since it happened, I promised myself to always listen to my gut but also not to let overthinking and anxiety take over, yet here I am worrying that the past might repeat itself. Redditor reactions. Redditor 1, you need to deal with the loss of appetite and insomnia first. 
Get Ensure Nutrition Powder or Protein Bars and Shakes if you can't keep anything down. Melatonin Supplements Herbal Teas Weighted Blanket Sleeping Pills for the Sleeplessness. Get yourself into therapy ASAP. Look for a betrayal trauma specialist, you're essentially suffering from PTSD symptoms. I've sent you some resources regarding how to get yourself on the recovery path. As for her, go as NC as you can. Start separating finances. Figure out your living lease situation if you're cohabitating. None of those friends sound like friends. Cut them all off. Either they enabled her affair, or they're doing their best impression of Switzerland. Don't be misguided. Not choosing means they chose, and they chose her. Look into EMDR therapy or brain spotting. Bring up MDMA-assisted therapy to your IC, it's shown promising results for PTSD treatment. Read the books Cheating in a Nutshell by Tamara and Wayne Mitchell and The Body Keeps the Score by Bessel van der Kolk. Redditor 2, when I was cheated on, I took a trip to get my groove back. First off, it's crazy to think that of the billions on this earth and the trillions who have been before that your soulmate is right there, within a stone's throw of you. Maybe, but honestly, the world is too big for all that. Secondly, you need out of your headspace and the best way to do that is to take yourself physically out of the space you're in. Take chances, make mistakes, get messy. Mrs. Frizzle, even if the trip is local, take some time for you, drink or smoke to your heart's content. Go be a fuckboy for like 5 days and get your groove back. You're still so young and have lots ahead. It's summer soon, get a Hawaiian shirt and a margarita, start introducing yourself to people. Redditor 3, the truth is, I don't know how old you are, you seem to be still young, I'll tell you something, maybe it bothers you, first I don't think it's good, get back in touch with her, both for your mental and physical health, start working on yourself. You have many self-esteem problems, it cannot be that due to a love decision, you fall hospitalized, you have no control over yourself. Start by enrolling in a gym, it will help you both mentally and physically, it will increase your self-esteem, you will be able to see things from another perspective, you can try to see a psychologist or counselor, but hey, not even chattering. Look for one to help you realize, that you are an important man in this life, that you are a great man, that shows you your true value, not a counselor, that helps you to continue victimizing yourself, you need someone to help you form, more character in your person. You must understand that life is not easy, and that age stumble, you must recover quickly, and move on, life is not easy and you have to fight, until you find your full happiness, I do not contact with her, work on you, begin to do a lot of fiscal activity, with all of this, you will realize that life has thousands of options. 